Hello everyone and as you can see here we have a different lesson and on one of the latest lessons that I put on Patreon one of you guys, I think it was Nelson, made a comment that he was getting behind on the lessons because I was releasing too much content and I have been thinking on how to fix this uh, since I put the pool on the Patreon lessons and I came out yesterday when, with a solution that I think it's going to solve some of the problems that we have. I'm going to release a series that shows the techniques, just the techniques that we use on the bigger tutorials and how to fix some errors, fix some problems and just show techniques itself, not the big uh, workflow and the full project, but just techniques. So that's going to help a lot if you want to refresh something or you want to know how to do something by itself. So this is going to be the first one and I hope you like it. On this lesson, we can see that we have a sphere, basic sphere, a guide grooming and a simple, really, really simple mesh. What I'm going to do first is to control the density. So density can be controlled here. So I can control how many hairs do I have. Now, after that, the second step to make it work, it's going to be to make the tips. The tips are going to be uh, flattened out and a singular width right now. So we need to add or a width ramp that's going to be controlled from here, as you can see, or we can add a taper. A taper is going to have the same result and you can control where do you want this part to start. So taper start, taper end. You can see how it gets thicker as we define how many or how long or where do we want the taper to start. It's better not to put the taper on one because that's going to give you noise on the renders. So try not to put that into one. And also you can control that uh, here with a minimum hair width if you are using V-Ray or, or render settings or Arnold also. And we have also the tilts if you want to spread the hair away from the from the guides or if you want to make it closer to the guides. This does not refer to clumps, just tilting. And around, it's going to give the same result, but just going to turn it around like a twist over the full hair. This is useful if you want to have some twisting effect or something like that from one angle. That's not that use for hair, it's more useful for uh, grass. If you're working with some samples like that, it's going to work perfectly. Now, the width. The width is going to control, obviously, the width of the hair. Depending on your width, you will need to put the hair. Depending on the type of hair, that's going to be how the hair works. Uh, if you have curly hair, it's going to be thicker. If you have uh, straight hair, it's going to be thinner. And you can control it from here. For realistic hair, it's going to be extremely small, maybe even 0 0.01, 0 .0, 0 0.01. And for more tuny hair, you can go up even to a value of 0.1, maybe, maybe, maybe for tuny hair. And that's going to help you a lot. But also, I do like to add some variation into my groom by itself. And what I do here is to go to create expression. So you can create an expression here. And with that, you can simulate or create a rant, rant expression. Uh, 0 0.01 was the minimum that we said that we are going to use to 0 0.02, 0 0.02. And let's close the thing and let's hit accept. And you can see here how now we have different thickness. If I put the value here maybe to a value of five, you're going to see that some of them are smaller and other are thicker. So we have a nice uh, random values here. We can add, no, I don't want to add a widget. Let's accept. And maybe we can add a value of 0, 0, 0.075. That's extremely thin hair. And a value of 2. 
so we have nice here over here and with that I can put the density when you put uh, smaller thinner hairs you need to bring the density up and always remember that this is going to affect let me change a bit how this guy is rendering for you to see it at high resolution and let's create a basic ambient occlusion so you can see the hair here and if you want to uh, create a more or high resolution hair like this one that is a long hair you need to increment the CV count always increment the CV count as you can see here we have some parts that are completely straight as we have only like five CV counts we have this shape over there and we maybe could need a value of 80 on the CV counts you can see here that the, now the shape it's looking way much better than before and we can even put a value of 120 it's not going to be visible here but when you add noise at a later time it could work and it could going to work like a lot also try not to use a lot of guides because you can get into the problem that we did have on the grooming that we were doing just because of the interpolation error and it was so hard to fix everything again so try to get the shape with the less amount of guys that you can use and you can define everything later with maps and other kind of different of modifiers so try to always get the shape with the less amount of guides possible so that's the basic uh, procedure here that we did to create the uh, the grooming here I'm going to talk about the, on the other lessons about rebuild and normalize for the actual guides and how to get nice shapes on the rooms. I hope you like this small tutorial and see you on the next release.